Good evening. My name is Mike Ridley and I'm Chairman of the Trustees it's here at St Luke's Hospice. And I would like to offer you a very warm welcome to our annual Light of the Life Service of Remembrance. As with last year, this year's service is virtual. So wherever you happen to be joining us from, I do hope that by coming together as one, we can pause and reflect and feel that little bit closer to those whose lives we remember and celebrate this evening. I'm stood here in St. Luke's courtyard beside the fountain with our Christmas tree behind me. Part of this evening's service will come from St. Chad's here in Winsford. And we'll also hear poems and readings from our nursing teams inside the hospice. So, on behalf of all of us here at St. Luke's, and also all those we will look after in the future, we offer you our sincere thanks for your continued support. Lovely performance from the Anyone Allowed Community Choir, perfectly set in the tone of this evening's service. Good evening. My name is Neil Wright and I'm proud to be the Chief Executive of St Luke's Hospice. I've come to Nantwich today as the town really looks forward to Christmas. The lights are up and there's already something of a buzz in the air. At St Luke's Hospice, we're all about community. We know that for over 30 years you have given us so much support and your commitment to the hospice is clear to see through your fundraising and through volunteering. You fundraise by baking cakes, you organise raffles, you climb mountains and only last weekend you were walking and running in the snow all for St Luke's. You do it on your own, with your family, your friends and at work. But you do it all for St Luke's. You also give us that most precious of commodities by volunteering your time. You volunteer by helping out in our shops, stewarding, stewarding at our events and befriending our patients. You give up hours, days and weekends for the hospice. We do not charge anyone for our services, but St Luke's Charity pays for all the costs. The government makes a small contribution of 15% of those costs. So I mean it when I say 
that we really couldn't do it without you. Your support allows us to keep providing the highest levels of comfort and care to local people and their families at a time in their lives when they need it most. As I say, St Luke's is all about community. So on behalf of all those patients, it is our privilege to care for. Thank you. From a chilly that which I'm going to hand you back to the warm of St Luke's. Thank you, Neil. Good evening. We are Sarah and Sheila, and we are two of the nurses on day hospice. We are going to read you a poem called I Heard Your Voice in the Wind Today. I heard your voice in the wind today, and I turned to see your face. The warmth of the wind caressed me as I stood silently in place. I felt your touch in the sun today as its warmth filled the sky. I closed my eyes for your embrace, and my spirit soared high. I saw your eyes in the window pane as I watched the falling rain. It seemed as each raindrop fell, it quietly said your name. I held you close in my heart today, it made me feel complete. You may have died, but you are not gone, you will always be a part of me. As long as the sun shines, the wind blows and the rain falls, you will live on inside of me forever, for that is all that my heart knows. brilliant performance there from Mearside Brass Band. Here at St Luke's we provide care and comfort to local people and their families 24 hours a day, 365 days a year and it's very much a team effort. Right now hot evening meals are being prepared in our kitchen and of course our nursing teams are providing that vital one-to-one -one care. If you have a candle to hand you may wish to light it right now as we join together to remember our loved ones. I'm now going to hand you back to St Chad's in our Spiritual Care Chaplaincy Coordinator, Andrew Smith. As the year approaches its end in the darkness of December's long nights and short days, we often turn to reflection and to one another for comfort and meaning. To make sense of the year past, our memories, regrets, and what we're thankful for. What and who brought us love and joy in our lives? 
St Luke's Family Support and Counselling team has been busier than ever working through the pandemic with people who are approaching the end of their life, those who care for them and those who have lost loved ones. Where once we used to provide therapy sessions and support groups only face to face in the hospice, at Winterley Grange or in people's homes, the need to keep working safely has meant our team of staff and many volunteers are adept at providing therapeutic support on the telephone, video calls, and even outdoors and in community settings. Indeed, reflecting on the year past, we can see how flexible and resilient the St Luke's family of patients and relatives, staff and volunteers have been in finding ways of connecting with one another and making some sense out of our recent experience. As we face diagnosis, disease and death, one thing we can struggle with is a sense of expectation, what we should do or what we think others expect of us. Yet each of us is unique and precious. Every end of life journey and every bereavement is different. There are theories of loss and grief, but the reality is often messier. We don't progress neatly from one stage to the next. Indeed, a number of the ways of looking at loss and grief reflect this. It takes as long as it does. We may feel better some days and then worse again. Deep in our loss one minute, and then find that we're laughing or have forgotten in the moment. We may feel we're responding very differently than other bereaved people, or than we did at a previous loss. The misty world of the mind is at work. It may seem as confusing as the swirl of a foggy December night. We may feel lost. But even a small light helps. The light may come from the kindness of a stranger, the support of family and friends, or the listening and deep understanding of a therapist. Perhaps in our journey of loss, we can see enough for the next step or we can see ourselves and in time see a way to move forward, not to move on, to remember those we have loved and lost as a rich part of our life, with us in our thoughts and memories, because we share a deep bond, a light that never goes out. Yeah.
What a beautiful performance. So moving. And thank you to the Anyone Allowed Community Choir. St Luke's Hospice provides care and comfort at a time in your life when you need it most and you will never walk alone. With that, our Christmas tree is now full of light and will shine bright right through the festive season. So let us join together for the hospice prayer. Dear Lord, we ask your blessings on this place. Bless those who wash, clean, cook and serve those who administer and calculate, the fundraisers and those who give. Bless those who volunteer their services and their time, the ministers who give spiritual and religious support, those who offer counsel and advice, the therapists with their comforting hands. Bless all of the families who enter the hospice doors. Relieve their pain, support them in their distress, and grant them peace. Lord Jesus, bless the hospice of St. Luke's, fill it and surround it with your love, now and always. Amen. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing with us that beautiful passage from the Old Testament. We gather here in church and at the hospice too, at the beginning of Advent, a season in the Christian calendar which is all about great expectations. Those verses from Isaiah reflect the excitement and the hope of looking forward to the birth of a child, a child sent by God to live among us and to guide us from darkness and into a marvellous light which will soon dawn. We may not need to strain our ears over the next few weeks to hear carols in churches like this one, in our shops, and even on television adverts that tell us more about that glorious light. Light and life to all he brings, says one of them. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light, says another. So perhaps there should be a quiz to match those words with the right carol. We gain a sense then of the deep meaning of light as a part of our Advent and our Christmas story. But it's also at the very centre of our service this evening as we light up a life and share with each other the similarly deep meaning within this heartfelt tribute for those whom we miss but will never forget. The glow of light up a life is a reminder that the glorious light which inspires us to look forward also comforts us as we recall the past. And at the risk of 
divulging an answer to our newly formed carol quiz. The following verse explains why it is that the same light which carries our hopes for the future protects our memories too. It's from a carol called O Little Town of Bethlehem. You may know it. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. The hopes and fears of all the years, those we anticipate and those we have experienced already are met in thee tonight. As we take a moment to look into the flickering candle flame, we are encouraged and we are reassured that the memories we cherish are not left behind in the past. They are never forgotten, never covered over, but are carried with us lightly into our future with all of our hopes and fears which are met in him tonight. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you to our spiritual care and chaplaincy coordinator, the Reverend Chris Moore. The Christmas tree is now fully lit and will provide a warm welcome to visitors to St Luke's over the festive season and hopefully bring some festive cheer to those patients staying with us at the hospice over Christmas. We'd like to say a huge thank you to the local mayors of Middlewich, Northwich and Winsford for donating the tree once again this year. Just a few days ago, they were here to officially hand over the tree to us. We would also like to thank our main sponsors of this year's Light Up A Life, Birch's Remembrance Park in Northwich. And thank you to everyone who has chosen to dedicate a light on our tree this year. Your generosity means we are able to support more local people and their families this Christmas. Good evening. We are Andrew and Michaela, two nurses from the In Care Unit, and we're going to leave you from a poem by Vicky Brown called Look For Me In Rainbows. Time for me to go now. I won't say goodbye. Look for me in the rainbows way up in the sky. In the morning sunrise, when all the world is new, just look for me and love me, as you know I loved you. Time for me to leave you. I won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows high up in the sky. In the evening sunset, when all the world is through, just look for me and love me, and I'll be close to you. It won't be forever. The day will come, and then my loving arms will hold you when we meet again. Time for us to part now. We won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows shining in the sky. Every waking moment, and all your whole life through, just look for me and love me as I know I loved you. Just wish me to be near you and I'll be there with you. <laughs>